Hi there, my name is uh, Matthew and today I'm going to show you how to do a very basic example uh, of a rig that uses uh, my plugin Fstretch for Maya. So, to start off with, uh, we're going to make a cube. So that's one. And let's just smooth the cube. like that, that's perfect and then let's apply a stretch so go in here and create a stretch once this is done um, I'm, we're gonna duplicate this mesh and uh, we're gonna use the mesh duplicated to be used as the, the stretch and the squash mesh so let's do that this one will be the stretch here like that and this one the squash so after that you want to take this one here and then this one and you go into a stretch connect mesh stretch and then the same goes for this one here like that squash so once this is done what you have to do is that you select the, some vertex from this mesh here and you move them like that and after that you take the vertex of this one which is the stretch mesh and you scale them and you see that uh, in the area that has stretched on uh, this mesh it switched to this mesh here so if you move those vertex around you see what happens and the, the same goes for this mesh here but it's when it's squashed so let's just put back those vertex at zero and then let's squash the mesh like that and then we take this one and by the way don't take the transform because you see, if I take the transform, this is the transform, and I scale it, nothing happens. So you have to take the vertex here, and you scale them. So you see, it kind of bulge here. And now, let's just put them here. Reset the mesh to zero. So when you move around the vertex, that's what happens now. So we're not the we're not sure we like the what happens here. It's not very smooth, so we can uh, change that. If you select the mesh and you go to Attribute Editor, you go to F Stretch here, and you have uh, the menu that allows you to control uh, all the effects that happen on the mesh. So, mm, for this here, what you want to do is to smooth the tension transition. So, you have to go for... First, let's go to Color Per Vertex. And enable Draw Color Per Vertex. They show you the, the, the tension that happens on the mesh. So, you see as you move the mesh, you see that it becomes yellow or it becomes more red and you can control the color happening here so what you want to do is to smooth that transition so let's go to tension base and let's go to post smooth and enable that So you see that it's much better now, much more smoother. And if you want, because this, since this is only smoothing the tension, it's not gonna smooth uh, the, the 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 mesh itself. So if you want to smooth the mesh itself, you have to use relax here. So this is for stretch. So relax here. You see this really really smooths out everything if this is what you want to do 
and by now it should be much more uh, smooth the, the deformation that happened but there's one thing I don't like is that when you move it around like that and back you see that the, the transition from one mesh to another is not exactly what it should be it's a bit awkward so this is because here the tension fall off curve is too smooth and for <coughs> for this example it doesn't work to have it smoothed like that it has to be uh, linear so put it to linear here and then you see that this is much better much more realistic if we put back the mesh to zero and we move it around that's what we get and uh, it's very easy to tweak all those things um, for example if you want to add the stretch uh, to to be more uh, to have more important you can just put up here stretch so that's what you have but this act as the envelope attribute of a blend shape so um, this is not always what you want to have uh, another very important setting is the range the range determine how long does you have to do you have to pull to get the the shape to be enabled for example here I have to go to here to get it fully enabled so if I put this setting to like to that here and you see I only have to go there and if I put it to 3 for example I have to put it all the way there so this is the range attribute so let's put it to dot seven. That's pretty good. And the same goes for the squash here. Squash range. So the squash you might want to put the range like that. You see that starting to be pretty good by now. can play around with that so that's pretty much it for this example so I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching